Why are you making a sandwich? Are you gonna fix your hair? Uh, I already did. Mom. You know I'm not cut out for those kind of places. You were very much so cut out for those kind of places. No, I'm not and neither are you. Don't think I didn't see that young man. You are a respectable boy who worked hard to get through college. And now look at you, Mr. Lawyer, walking around like you've got all the money in the world. What have you really got? What? Well, I have a wonderful house, a great job, and a beautiful girlfriend. That's all she is. If looks could describe a personality, that girl would be uglier than a blind dog with one ear. Mom. You're only moving up because her daddy's your boss. That girl wouldn't have given you the time of day if you were not working for her daddy. Rebecca loves me. <sighs> Baby. There's the wicked witch now. She's outside. I need to go. You sure you don't want to come? You better go. I'd hate for her to have to come to the door. All right. You know, if you wanted me to drive, I do have Honey, a car. I know it's your car, and I know you love it, but it's so loud and old. Keys, please. You look perfect as always. I think I need a necklace. Looks nicer on you than I thought it would. <laughs> Thanks. Now you need to be on your best behavior. My parents have been coming here for ages, and I don't need you ruining any reputation they've built here. So you act like I've never eaten before like at a restaurant with your parents? Yes, but this is a little different. Just be on your most perfect behavior. No wisecracks. Just sit there and smile and look good. My parents already love you. There'll be no problem. Daddy! <laughs> Mr. Thomas, it's nice to see you again. Yes, always. Mrs. Thomas, how, how are your geraniums? They're looking just beautiful, Bobby. Thank you for asking. Just this past week, I had some tulips planted because I thought the colors was gonna go beautifully together. How she finds time to worry about them plants, I have no idea. It is nice to have a hobby. It is so relaxing. By the way, you can't spend all your time thinking about work. Well, your time has definitely paid off. I'm constantly telling my mother how jealous she'd be if she saw how beautiful your garden was. <laughs> 
Isn't she in town? I thought she was going to be joining us today. Yes, she is. She just wasn't up for coming out today. Uh, I guess a long trip. Oh, well, that's too bad. We'll give her our best. So, sweetie, what was so important that you had us meet for lunch today? You're not going to ask me for a raise, are you, son? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's not going to marry him. <gasps> That is absolutely the best news I've heard all week. Congratulations. Have you set a date? Nope. No date yet. <laughs> Charles, a date is not important right now. So let's see it. Uh, see what? The ring, silly, the ring. <sighs> oh, he hasn't gotten me one yet. Oh. No ring. What, what kind of engagement is this, Robert? I, I really don't know, sir. Uh, just have to ask your daughter. Could you excuse us for a moment, please? Why, certainly, sweetie. Is there a problem? I don't appreciate your smart ass remarks toward my father. <laughs> you, you don't appreciate my smart. <laughs> so, when were you planning on telling me we were getting married? We have been talking about it, have we not? Yeah, but that was months ago, and you never. But, but you never. Are you trying to say that you don't want to marry me? It's, it's just that I'm. Why are you being so mean to me? I'm not being mean. It's just that I'm not quite ready for this yet. You're not ready to commit to me. I thought you loved me. I do love you, but. I just started this new job at the firm, and I got this place, and I, I just... And you just don't want to marry me? That's not what I meant, Rebecca. Well, if you love me, then you should have no problem. So don't you think you should have at least told me first? What does that matter? I'm going back in. Is everything okay? Just fine, Mother. I think we should have the ceremony here, out in the green, maybe, with pink rose petals sprinkled all around. Yes, yes. Your mother can handle that. That's what she does, after all. But, sweetie, no pink roses. We need something a bit more sophisticated. You are not 10 anymore. Now, Bobby, Robert, I guess I'm gonna have to give you a raise after all. Uh, sir? I can't have my only daughter. Marrying a poor man. Oh, I, I, um, Bobby? I, um, I don't know how to say this, sir, but I. You don't have to thank me, son. Especially since you're going to be working for that new paycheck. Bottle of champagne, four glasses, please. Yes, sir. Mr. Thomas, Mrs. Thomas, I can't marry your daughter. Right now, I, I can't marry your daughter right now. I mean, she's wonderful and, and beautiful, and she's made me a better man, which is why I want her to be my wife, but I can't marry her just yet. Well, son, it's not like the wedding's tomorrow. You'll be fine. Sir, I, I don't think you understand. He understands just perfectly, Bobby. So just be quiet, okay, sweetie? I don't want to hear any more of this shit from you today. Just show me how much you love me. To our beautiful daughter for finally finding someone. Bobby, you are intelligent, respectable, well-mannered, and honest. And a lawyer. Can I get um, one more whiskey neat, please? Bobby, I think you've had enough to drink. 
She's not ordering the drink. I am. Just bring me the damn whiskey. Rebecca, you know I don't like that type of language. Sweetie, I... Don't you sweetie me, no. Becky. Robert, I think you should listen to Rebecca. You've had enough. No, I always listen to Rebecca. She's the one who told me to buy this brand new house that I can barely afford to pay for. And then she told me to get a new car. And I love my car. I rebuilt it with my hands. Bobby. And then, and then she, she told me that she wouldn't marry me after I asked her about six months ago. Bobby. What, Rebecca? You don't want your parents to know? Yeah, I asked her. I took her out of my friend's yacht and, and asked her under the stars. Miss Thomas, I even remembered the seniors. You would have you thought they were beautiful. But, but she still said no. She said that, that uh, I was going nowhere and, and that how can anybody really want me? It's you. You, you wanted me. And as soon as I landed that job with you, she just came running back in and, and all of a sudden we're getting married. Surprise! Bobby, that's enough. You know what? I worked hard to get my job and I'm a damn good lawyer and I don't need you telling me anything anymore. I, I don't even need you at all. Teddy, Charles. Sir, sir, please believe me. I, I love her. And I don't think she loves me. And I don't know the, what she wants really. I didn't even know she wanted to marry me until today. Please, please just let me keep my job. Charles, do something now. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, God. I'm, just please don't fire me. I'm, I'm sorry I'll marry your daughter, I promise. Just please let Shut me Shut up, keep... son. I'm taking you home. You are? Sir, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it just, it just sort of all came out. I'm just not like this, I swear. I, I don't even, no, no, I don't even drink. Well, maybe I might have a couple beers when I go out with friends or maybe like a glass of wine at dinner, but, but rarely whiskey. I, I don't even know why I went with whiskey, but I, I'm just not like this. I haven't even drunk since college. Well, I mean, that's not true. Maybe like right after Rebecca? Brother, I, I don't. Shut up. Yes, sir. I'm taking you home because I want you to be rested up for tomorrow. Mm, what's tomorrow? Morning meeting, 8 o'clock, remember? You're gonna have to work that new paycheck, and I don't want you to be late. So, so I'm not fired? No, Robert, you're not fired. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Not so much, yes, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Promise me you won't call my daughter again. I am, I am on the leader number right now. Good man. Let's get you home. <laughs>